The image is a staple of televised basketball broadcasts. A slow motion shot of a basketball flying through the air, gently spinning backwards as it makes its way toward the rim and into the net. But why is that ball spinning? Ask anybody who plays and they'll tell you that the spin is an essential part of a jump shot. If you want to correctly shoot the basketball, the most important part is to get back spin on the ball. To do that, you want to line the ball up so your palm is not touching the ball and your fingertips are on the ball and you have a little bit of space to have a couple fingertips between the palm and the ball. Next, you want to get your uh, guide hand on the side of the ball. The guide hand shouldn't move. Have the ball parallel to the lines on the ball. Jump up and flip the wrist fingertips to the ground to get good backspin on the ball. Perfect shot every time. So one of the things that everybody agrees about is that if you're going to shoot a basketball well, you have to put backspin on the ball. But why is that? It's a question we can answer with a bit of physics, but that requires someone who can actually hit jump shots in order to, to make that work. So I recruited Kevin and Jenny here to help me out answering this question by shooting some shots for us here in the gym. You might think that the reason to put spin on a basketball is the same reason that people put spin on a football when they throw a spiral pass, that it makes the ball go farther and straighter than it otherwise would. That doesn't really work, though. I mean, for one thing, a football is pointy, so it makes a difference whether it's flying through the air and on or sideways. A basketball is round. It doesn't make any difference which direction you aim it. Also, a football field is huge compared to a basketball court. About the longest basketball shot you could imagine taking, some kind of Steph Curry three-pointer, is going to be the distance of a routine pass in football. The speed at which the ball has to move just isn't that great when you're talking about basketball shots. If we look at a clip of Jenny shooting the ball, we see that the speed of the ball when it leaves her hand is about 7 meters per second. That's roughly 15 miles an hour. An NFL caliber quarterback will throw the ball four times faster than that, almost 60 miles an hour. The speed that you need to get a basketball to the rim just isn't very high compared to the speed that you need to throw a football tens of yards out on the field. If we look at a slow motion shot of a free throw, we see that the ball is spinning at about two revolutions per second. That, again, is much, much slower than you see with a football, which could be four or five times that many rotations. That means the football gets much more of a stabilizing force from that spin than a basketball does. It simply doesn't make that much difference to the trajectory of a basketball at that low rate of spin. So, why does spin matter on a basketball shot? It's not just to look pretty on those shots where the ball goes straight through the net. It's for the other kind of shots, the ones where the ball hits the rim and bounces around a couple of times before it goes in. Those shots are more likely if the ball has some backspin on it, because that backspin will act to soften the bounce as the ball hits the rim. A basketball with no spin on it heading toward a surface will bounce off with pretty much the same left to right velocity that it had coming in. If you add backspin to the ball, however, there's an extra force that comes into play while the ball is in contact with the floor. There's some friction there that tries to resist the motion, and that acts to reduce the horizontal velocity of the ball. The ball comes off the floor, moving left to right a little slower than it would have if it had no spin. We can see the effect in these two clips of Kevin deliberately airballing a free throw. On the left, with no spin, the ball hits and bounces off normally. On the right, with spin, it bounces almost straight up, losing nearly all of its horizontal velocity in the bounce. So that's the physics of spin on a basketball shot. It reduces the speed of the ball as it bounces off the rim, giving you more of a chance for it to bounce a couple of times and then fall in rather than just caroming violently out on a bricked shot. So now you know the reason why all those balls are rotating in those slow motion shots in basketball games. And if you're a basketball player, remember, pay attention to your shooting form, remember to follow through at the end of the shot, and keep in mind a little bit of physics and... Perfect shot every time.